Hello everyone, Mike Starks with Remax Town & Country here. Today we're looking at 466 German Lane. Beautiful rock home offering a little over 4,100 square feet. Three bedrooms, three and a half baths, setting on just a little over 50 acres, just south of Fredericksburg. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it in this video, but what you're looking at on the hillside is the edge of Fredericksburg. Like you can see the hospital just there in the distance. So really some beautiful views from the front of the house looking north and beautiful views to the south of the house. You've got two car garage with an unfinished guest house above, pole barn, some horse sheds, and it's just a gorgeous looking house. It was built in 07, but when you pull up, you would think you're looking at a 100 old, year old, old German rock house that was so typical for this area. So let me show you where we are. That's the property and that's downtown Fredericksburg. So from Fredericksburg, you head south on Washington or Highway 87 for about 5.2 miles. You take a left on Moiseybach Creek Road, a left on Kuhlman Road, and then just past where the old Moiseybach School is, uh, Kuhlman Road just kind of turns into German Lane. And there you've got the main house I was just standing in front of, the two-car garage, pole barn, and just some really lush coastal Bermuda fields. I mean, this property is prime for horses. Plus, you've got great views to the north and the south, and you can be back to town in under 10 minutes. So let's go in and take a look around. You know, the old world charm of this house and the detail is just amazing. From the rock porch, you've got solid rock lentils above and below the doors, windows, big wide front door, very reminiscent of the old German houses around here. And you walk in, you've got a beautiful foyer, maple flooring runs pretty much throughout the house, crown molding everywhere up here, it's that dental molding. Off to the right, you've got your formal living area. The attention to detail is really just stunning. I mean, like, look at this fireplace. That's Delft tile that kind of surrounds it. Gorgeous. High ceilings. It really does have an old world charm, even though it was just built in 07. So it also offers, you know, modern conveniences, you know, like double pane windows and stuff that you don't get in the old houses. Just across the foyer, you've got the formal dining room. So the front of the house is really great for entertaining. Very classy, very, you know, elegant feeling. Same dental crown molding in here as well. Lots of windows, so you've got a lot of light coming in. We'll go upstairs in a minute. Really neat art niche as you walk in. To the right, goes out to the terraces and patio outside and we'll go out there in a little while as well. You've got a half bath just off the dining room. Really pretty vessel sink in here. And then the kitchen is just amazing, beautiful. Granite counters, really some beautiful custom cabinetry in here. Tons of storage. You got the refrigerator freezer with the panels that just blend in. Apron sink, and look at the detail even on this sink. Really just awesome. And beautiful views back to the north out the window. And then that kitchen just kind of flows into the den. And you have a nice little breakfast area off to the left. Again, lots of windows, a really bright, happy room in here. Then just off of the breakfast area, you've got a north, another door going out to the patio and terrace. Little mud room, plus the utility room. And this den, kitchen, and breakfast area really all just kind of blends together. So if you, you know, if it's Thanksgiving and you've got family over, everybody's just kind of hangs out in the same room, watches the game. Beautiful fireplace in here as well. This fireplace actually has some tiles that are uh, like German wine labels. And I love these high ceilings with those exposed beams. And all this just looks out 
to the south. And we'll go out there in a minute. Let's go on to the master bedroom. Again, you can see how many windows are in this house, so it's really bright and airy. Very generously sized master bedroom. High ceilings in here as well with the crown molding. It's got a little gas fireplace. Just some of the outside garden area. Then this bathroom is awesome. You've got marble floors, this freestanding old tub, walk-in shower, his and her pedestal sinks. I mean, it's just a really well done, classy feel in here. And then the private water closet. And unlike most old houses, this one actually has a ton of closet space. This is a great master closet. Lots of built-ins, lots of hanging room, lots of drawers. So really a great master suite setup over here. All right, obviously I've just walked back over to the front of the house and let's head upstairs. Same maple flooring up here as well. You've got your first guest room off to the left. And as you can see, this is not just a small little guest room. This is almost a master suite in itself spacious, lots of windows. I love that little window seat. And it's got a full bath of its own. Very nice marble top sink, tub shower combo, and both of these upstairs rooms. I love those custom arches above the uh, tubs. Just across the other side of the stairwell, you've got your third bedroom. Again, amply sized. Another cute little window seat there. Lots of closet space in here as well. Lots of windows take advantage of those views. And then it's got its own private bath as well. And again, very nice marble top sink. And now we'll head out to one of my favorite features of this house, and that is the upstairs porch. Most of the old German houses like this had a screened in porch just like this, and this would be their sleeping porch in the summers. Gorgeous views back towards town to the north there and just a nice place to sit around, relax, watch the sunset. All right, so let's head back downstairs. All right, now I've walked back over to that den kitchen area and let's go out to the backyard because this is really another great feature of this house. You have, I think it's probably a little over 30,000 square feet of patio terraced area here. These trees just offer shade year round. The whole thing is tiled. Lots of beautiful landscaping around this house. I mean, these guys really have some awesome landscaping all the way around. That little area comes out of that master bedroom we were in. walk over you've got a great little garden shed that you see and then that's your little trail that'll bring us to the garage again that's the views back to the north towards town and just look at that house it's gorgeous and that back patio and then they've got a couple raised bed gardens here by the potting shed. 
and we've got a two car garage and up above the garage they currently just use it for storage but it's actually plumbed out uh, for a kitchen and a bath that are just roughed in currently so you could easily have a guest house upstairs now let's just take a quick look at the barn these guys do horse rescue so they've got quite a few horses out here so it's really a great horse property just have a pole barn for all your implements trailers tractors a little cover for the horses So if you've been looking for just a really an impressive estate in Fredericksburg and you like that old German architecture the way I do, you're, you're really going to love this place. Not to mention you've got some great field area for animals, whether you want horses or just even doing hay. It's a beautiful setting and just an outstanding house. So if you'd like more information, you can visit my site at www.mikestarks.com. And as always, thanks for watching.